Hi developers, subscribers and friends. I have something to say. I failed to pass the AVS Solution Pro exam. It may sound as a sad news, but let's learn from this experience in, instead. To better understand the difficulty, you can find some analogy in a school system. If I would have to explain the difficulty, I could say that the first level is a foundation club practitioner, something as, uh, as if you would study on a grammar school. Second level could be uh, associate uh, level, something like in the high school or secondary school. And the third level is a pro level, like uh, the university degree. I mean, from the point of the difficulty. All the links which I will uh, show are in the description of the video. So what I did for the preparation, I did actually previously the associate architect and you can also watch my video on this topic if you like. Mm. Then the courses uh, on Udemy from Stefan Marek and as well example sets from him and I can highly recommend that. So let me show it. Uh, the first one is the course and then the second one is basically the test set. Actually before the exam before the exam day, I had uh, tried to do to do a full course uh, from Stefan Marek on the Udemy to refresh my knowledge because I was not learning uh, all the time. Yeah. So I had some gaps. So just to refresh my knowledge, I took the course again. And obviously I also scheduled uh, the exam. Um, this time I took the Pearson view and Luckily, I had the voucher from the previous exam. I didn't have to pay the full price, but 50% off, which was great. But the bad thing was that because this exam was version 1 and it was having the end of life by 14th of November, I couldn't reschedule it. So I didn't feel confident that I could make the exam, but there was no uh, option to reschedule anymore. So if you don't feel confident, please reschedule the exam and you can um, you know, still learn something before uh, going to the exam. So the timing is the key here. Um, on the day of the exam, what happened? Of course, there were some troubles. And this time that was that, for example, I couldn't uh, launch the property application for the checks, like the connectivity checks and so on. So it was saying uh, that basically the uh the application doesn't have the latest version but you know i downloaded it 10 times and it still didn't work okay that from time to time it happens but you still should wait until you have the correct time of the exam start and then you should see the link uh, where it would uh, show you that you can uh, start the pre-checks or whatever and then you have some kind of different application i think anyway uh to, to, to pass this, I had to scan or use the mobile application and uh, I think it was shooting the room, uh, shooting myself and the ID. And only when I uploaded this to the mobile application, like a pre-check, I was allowed to go to the next step uh, in, the, in the desktop application, where actually some proctor called me via the video call on this application and I had to uh, scan the table in like room and myself as usual the bad thing is that you cannot use uh, for example and I didn't like this that you of course cannot use the second monitor and the, uh, actually if you use a notebook and you have a small one it's quite difficult to read the questions because they are quite big not only the questions but as well the answers so if you have a chance to grab a um, notebook with the um, better um, monitor resolution it's uh, beneficial to you otherwise I recommend you to schedule the exam in the in the test center um, what is as well not nice uh, is that if you pass the last question you will not know if you if you do the online uh, exam you will not know if you passed or failed there will be no score nothing just some another question about the uh, exam itself no immediate result which is not nice mm, and you need to wait for the official uh, email the exam was very difficult 
and I was uh, as well disappointed with the first questions which, which they were very very <laughs> strange and difficult to just to read and understand with uh, more questions it was you know better yeah but still those questions were very very you know, difficult so for the results it should come to your email uh, address in five business days uh, so you should then know if you pass or not um, and I received this in two business days uh, the result was fail and it was saying I can repeat the exam in 14 days so let me show you what I received and basically it was a link to the to the AV, to the AWS um, uh, portal where you would first see the great fail then you can download the score report and the score report I will show right now so again you will see fail or pass and the score so I had 699 which is less than 750 <laughs> but it was just you know a couple of points uh, away from passing the exam so if I would study study more or I should do the exam most probably I would pass it most probably you never know then on the next um, uh, uh, on the next page there was an information about some section detail where I should improve and and so on so at least something uh, what I think about overall about the exam is that I don't think I would recommend this exam because the edit value is very small. Yeah. You maybe learn some new things, but I still think that most of the things you could um, you could uh, <laughs> Google or, or find if you need them. Yeah. Um, and usually in the scenarios uh, based questions you maybe would not answer in in the questions which uh, they would want you to answer because uh, usually the situation is more difficult than on the exam questions and there are a lot of correct answers and depends really on the scenario okay um what do you think should i repeat the exam do you think i will score better in the next time well, let's see uh so thank thank you for watching and of course, don't take the video uh, message like the disappointment, but more as a lessons learned where the core lessons are. If you are not confident or rational the exam for difficult exams, go with the test center. And I think uh, the certification should not be your primary goal, rather a proof of some knowledge uh, which is externally validated. If the external validation company and their exam makes sense, that's another story. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.